Okay, so for those of you who were curious how I added texture to my collage for the first portion of Project 2, um, I figured I'd put together a quick tutorial showing you all how to do so. Um, so first things first, you have to add the picture to the Rhino file. So picture frame is the command that I use for that. Um, you go, you find your, um, your image, select it, click open. Um, I typically place the origin at 0, 0 for simplicity's sake. Um, and then the size that you um, use really varies depending on the end resolution that you want. So um, the bigger the image, the more your processor has to work uh, to convert it into a texture. Um, so I typically go, I don't know, somewhere in there. Not. Uh, it really depends on uh, the end settings and um, what you want to do with it. So, um, next thing you will apply displacement to the image. Enter, select the object, and then right click. This brings up a, a drop down box um, with a bunch of settings. Um, first thing you want to do is assign the texture. So, we're going to create a texture. Um, using the bitmap texture. Um, so basically what it does is it creates texture based on the, the image that you choose. So do bitmap and then you want to select the same image that you uh, are applying texture to for consistency. Click open. And then so for this collage uh, I want the white to be the field and the color within the image to be uh, the texture or the, the elevation. Uh, if you will. So um, we're, I'm going to change this around uh, and set black point to 1 and white point to 0. Um, and then the quality, uh, you'll see quickly what that does to the image, but we'll run it at medium first and then just do a preview. Um, so because of the size of the image, the, the depth that I have set didn't really do much. You can see there's a little bit of a rise, um, but I'm going to up that to, let's say, 10. Preview. Okay, so that's much more reasonable. You can actually see the rises and the lows. <coughs> um, but you can see that there's the points are actually spread out quite a ways. Um, so I'm going to adjust the uh, initial quality we'll go to high and you can see what that does to the image um, so there's a lot more uh, a lot more variability now um, from point to point the, the points are more closely packed in the image so you get uh, a, a lot more noise in the, the texture I'll just bump that up to very high see what that does okay so even more so um, so like I said the how much and how deep you go into this and how much resolution you add uh, is going to vary based on your image, what you want to do with it, uh, the actual capability of your your uh, processor and your computer. Um, so yeah, um, there's some more items down here that allow you to tweak in the, the resolution of the texture more, um, but for this tutorial I think that's all I really need to cover.